So we're given the information today that the cone has a diameter of 10 inches, so 10 inches across for the circular base, and it has a height of 8 inches, which is right down the middle, height of 8. These are always perpendicular. And we want to express the volume of the cone as a function of its height. Okay, so what that means is volume, which is normally one-third of the base area, which is pi r squared times h. Volume is a function of two things, the radius length and the height of your cone. So volume is a function of two dimensions, uh, the radius, sorry, radius measurement and height measurement. So what this question is asking us to do is to only have an H in your equation. So we're no longer going to have R as part of our equation. We're only going to have H. <clears throat> so that means we have to replace R somehow. We can only replace with an equality. So we have to see what the relationship is between R and H. So the main question here is how does the radius relate to the height? How does R relate to H? <clears throat> okay, so in this case, we have a right triangle. The radius and the height form a right triangle. The maximum radius is, of course, going to be 5. Since the diameter is 10, the maximum radius is 5. And the maximum height is 8. So at any time when there's a certain height, there will be a corresponding radius, no matter what those two heights happen to be. Okay, every height will have a corresponding radius. <clears throat> now, if you're looking here, hopefully you're noticing that all of these are right triangles. And there's lots of similarity when it comes to right triangle. So, in fact, there is a proportional relationship between the radius and the height for this cone. Any radius corresponds with any height. So, proportions mean equal fractions. So, if we compare the radius to the height, we can compare the maximum to the maximum. <clears throat> okay, this is the equation that you always should set up whenever we're dealing with this type of a problem. There is always a proportional relationship between the radius and the height. So, we want to solve this for r. We multiply both sides by h. So, r is 5h divided by 8. And that is what we put into this equation instead of r which makes our equation become one-third pi. Now 5h over 8 is the new radius squared oops, times the normal height. So now we have radius as just a function of height. So let's do some simplifying here because I know you like to do that. We'll square the 5, square here, square there. So we have 1 third pi, and now 25 h squared over 64 times h again. And finally simplifying gives us 25 pi h to the third power. When I multiply these two things together, all divided by 3 times 64 which is 192. So that is the volume in terms of just the height. Amazing. Hello.